Good morning everyone, uh, welcome on my channel uh, on which we are struggling against a global admas in culture and human awareness as it was announced in my uh, last uh, introductory movie to my channel that was recorded in English and uh, I would like to uh, talk about a book uh, that is historical one but uh, unfortunately was not published in English I hope soon it will be this book is uh, a work by one Polish author who died uh, 13 years ago Anna Świderkówna she was a great specialist in papyrology and uh, Hellenistic period of history Hellenistic period is of course the period that spa spans from the conquest of Alexander the Great till the uh, year, 30th year before Christ BC when the last Hellenistic kingdom this time it was Ptolematic, Ptolemaic kingdom sorry that was incorporated by force of course by a Roman state that was Roman Republic that was in those days transforming itself into Principate and uh, this book is called in Polish it's Helada Królów which can be translated in English easily because it's Helad of Kings and actually why I want to say uh, now about this book that is not yet uh, available in English but I find it so important because a motivation of the author uh, she wrote this book because uh, she noticed that in many countries around the world a school program of teaching history antiquity is arranged like this prehistory later Egypt Mesopotamia a little bit is mentioned later suddenly the lessons are uh, equipped with knowledge for children about the classical Greece Greece of Pericles Greco-Persian Wars and suddenly no one knows why we just uh, go uh, two centuries later even more to uh, Punic Wars between Carthage and Rome and suddenly we go to the beginnings of Christian era and immediately we uh, later enter Middle Ages and modern early modern period it's not like this uh, history is much more sophisticated and much longer we know it and the uh, conclusion of the author was that uh, she needs to put some effort and she did to introduce this missing period very important for ancient civilization classical one Greece and uh, Greek and Roman so Hellenistic period so from the uh, conquest of Alexander the Great till the incorporation of Ptolemaic Kingdom by uh, R Roman, Rep Roman Republic that was transforming itself into the Principate also being influenced by a Hellenistic uh, type of state so monarchical state uh, and the interesting thing is that uh, the Greece with which Rome uh, interacted Greece which Rome encountered and was heavily influenced intellectually culturally la later also uh, biologically because Greek population uh, also uh, interacted with Roman population a lot was the Greece of Hellenism not the Greece of classical period of Pericles and this we need to keep in mind and this book introduces us to this period one flaw I have to mention is that author uh, finished her detailed, re uh, re de detailed narratives about this period about 130 BC with the Aristonicus uprising in Pergamon against uh, Roman uh, rulers that came when the Pergamon was uh, just transferred into Roman Republic as a gift in the testament of last Atalit ruler Atalos III who didn't have any hairs 
because of his own uh, preferences we can guess what, what exactly I mean but he just transferred the, his state offered his state under the protection of Roman Republic so it was transformed in Roman province but many people rebelled against it and so-called Aristonicus rebellion finishes the detailed narrative of the political history of Hellenistic era in this book by Anna Świdrykówna Helat of Kings and the last one uh, uh, approximately 100 years of Hellenism is uh, sparsely described in this book. This is the only flow I can, fi I can find in this book. The other books I will also mention in some time that cover this period or even more and are comparably good than this one and also available in English I will describe in my in some of my next videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there are any questions, please leave a comment, text me, write to me. I will try to uh, reply to you with uh, with the best knowledge I I have. Uh, have a nice evening. Bye.